What's up? My name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick guide. In this video, I'll be helping you if your controller isn't working with Need for Speed and Bound on PC. This obviously takes into account that you've probably tried plugging it into different USB ports, turning it off and on again if it's a Bluetooth controller, maybe replacing the batteries, and of course, just simply unplugging and plugging it in once more. And of course, maybe a reboot of your PC. Those are all obvious things that you've probably already tried by now, so I'll skip over them. Obviously, pause if you haven't. Reconnecting usually or restarting is usually the simplest solution that works the best. Anyways, the first most powerful solution involves Steam. If you have Steam installed in any capacity, even if you don't own the game on Steam, for example, you have it in EA Desktop or Origin, if you have Steam installed, open it up. Inside of the Steam client, head across to Steam in the top left, then Settings. On the controller tab over here, click general controller settings. Then a new window will open up. This is Steam Big Picture. And inside of here, all we're gonna do is turn off support for whatever controller you have. Otherwise, turn it on. That may help. Usually turning it off leaves it up to the game instead of Steam taking over your controller and trying to allow you to customize it. While it's useful, it's not always the best solution for games and it can cause some issues. If you do see it here, you can click on your controller and calibrate and mess around with a few of the settings here, if you so wish. Closing out of this and heading back into Steam, if you own the game here, you can right click it, hit properties, then on the controller tab here, change it from use default settings to disable Steam input. Then upon restarting the game, your controller may be working properly. If that doesn't work for you, you can select enable Steam input, that way Steam will definitely get in between your controller and the game and maybe improve compatibility. It's a weird option, usually having it on helps, sometimes having it off helps as well, but it really just comes down to your PC and your controller setup. Something else that may help is launching Steam Big Picture and then launching the game from there. To do this, simply click the Big Picture Mode button in the top right, and when Big Picture Mode starts up, use your controller to navigate into Library, resume and explore, and fire up the game from here. If you don't touch your mouse and keyboard, it'll probably be best, it's a weird fix, but it may work for some people. Finally, if you have a wireless controller, you can try updating the firmware. This may help, and some other controllers, maybe even wired ones, you can do this as well. For this, simply open up the Microsoft Store if you don't already have the Xbox Accessories app installed. We'll be searching for Xbox Accessories at the very top and installing the Xbox Accessories app. Opening it up, we'll see a screen that looks something like this. If you see your controller here, when the controller eventually loads, click the three dots below configure. And if you see at the very top, update, click that, it'll update the firmware of your controller. You will need to plug this in with a cable, more than likely, if it's a wireless controller. Otherwise, if you see no update available, well, there's no update. And of course, if you don't see anything at all, it's probably a third party controller that's not from Microsoft themselves. If you have different firmware or a different way of updating, that is something you can try. Finally, if you haven't already, try verifying the game's files. Inside of Steam, right-click Need for Speed, click Properties, and on the Local Files tab, click Verify Integrity of Game Files. If you own the game on EA Desktop, you won't be able to verify game files there. Instead, you'll have to use the older Origin client. So closing EA Desktop and opening up Origin, I can head across to my library, Right-click the game and choose Repair. That way, it'll run through the files on our PC, check to see if they match the server, and if they don't, it'll fix up whatever's broken. Anyways, that's about it for this super quick guide. Hopefully, this video helped you. My name's been Technobia for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!